Today, we will, we will be discussing the disappearance of 29-year-old Kaylee Goodwin. With me here today is Chief of Police John Stringer, Assistant Chief Steve Doris, Lieutenant Rene Hinojosa, Sergeant Craig Green, and Lead Detective Brett Rash, as well as the victim's mother, Ms. Casey Richardson. Please note, before we get started, we have a document printed out for you guys. You'll find our talking points, as well as everybody's names and title. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let you guys know this case is under investigation, so please be aware of that. Also, the chief of police nor the mother of the victim will be responding to any questions today. We will go ahead and start off with a statement from our chief. Then we'll have a statement from Ms. Richardson, and then we will conclude with an overview of the case provided by um, Assistant Chief Steve Doris. I'll go ahead and turn it over to Chief of Police, John Stringer. Thank you, we appreciate you all being here. I stand before you today to address the situation concerning uh, the, the situation involving the disappearance, disappearance of 29-year-old Kaylee Goodwin. As a, fa fa as a father of three daughters myself, my heart goes out to Kaylee's mother. I can only imagine the heart-wrenching pain that she feels at this time. Kaylee's been missing since April 21st, 2024. Her family and friends are deeply worried and our hearts go out to them as a police department during this incredibly difficult time. Our department is fully committed to finding Kaylee and bringing her home safely. We have mobilized all available resources our officers are following up on every lead to ensure we leave no stone unturned. We're asking for the public's assistance in this matter. If anyone has information regarding her whereabouts, no matter how insignificant it may seem to you, please come forward. Your tip could be the key to finding her. You can submit your tip through the Baytown Crime Stoppers at 281-427-8477 or through the Crime Stoppers website or through the P3 application your information will be kept anonymous. <clears throat> Additionally, we're asking any residents in the city of Baytown in the Houston area to check their properties, outbuildings, and any surveillance footage from the days around her disappearance. Any detail could provide critical information to help us bring her home and locate her. We understand the fear and concern that comes with such a situation, and we want our community to know that we are doing everything in our power to find Kaylee. Our thoughts are with her family, and we remain hopeful that we will reunite them soon. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I just wanna start by saying thank you for everybody that is out there and listening. And my goal is to not forget about Kaylee Brooke Goodwin. When you're enjoying your 4th of July with your family, remember we have a family that is one missing she's a sister she's a daughter she's a granddaughter she's a friend and she is a piece that is missing from our family that we want to bring her home and i beg anybody that knows something please say something if you see something say something i'm begging the whole United States around the world to just keep your eyes and ears open and help us bring Kaylee Brooke home. Help us bring her home. I cannot say this enough. You never want to be in these shoes. I never thought that I would be in these shoes even having a statement. We need peace. This whole family needs peace. Her friends need peace. I just want to thank so much to the Baytown Police Department, especially Detective Rash for everything he's done. I want to thank HPD. I want to thank the Fort Bend County District Attorney's Office along with EquiSearch for doing such a wonderful job for not stopping and not forget about Kaylee. So when you think at night, please say a prayer to help bring her home. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm going to echo what the chief said. Thank each one of y'all for being here. Uh, my name is Assistant Chief Steve Doris. I'm going to be giving y'all an overview uh, of the case of the investigation as uh, where we are to this point. Uh, once I'm concluded with that, I'll uh, be available for a few questions. The Baytown Police Department is currently investigating the disappearance of 29-year-old Kaylee Goodwin. On April 22nd, Kaylee's mother received a call from an unknown male demanding money, with the caller also providing a cash app account to send the money to. During the initial stages of our investigation, detectives identified an associate of Kaylee's who claimed to have last seen Kaylee on April 21st at approximately 7 p.m. at an apartment complex uh, in the 3100 block of Decker Drive here in Baytown. Uh, it was believed that Kaylee got into a vehicle with an unknown male and left the apartment complex at that time. Detectives were also able to identify the owner of that cash app account and using license plate uh, reader technologies, commonly known as LPR, uh, we were able to locate a vehicle near the apartment complex around the time Kaylee was last seen that was actually registered to the owner of the cash app account in question. Upon con contacting the owner of the suspect vehicle, detectives learned that 39-year-old Quan Flowers, the boyfriend of the registered owner, was in possession of the vehicle at the time it was in the Baytown area. Once again, using license plate reader technologies, detectives identified an area in Houston where the suspect vehicle was known to frequent. With the assistance of the Houston Police Department, detectives located and conducted a traffic stop on the vehicle and found Mr. Flowers to be the driver and sole occupant of the vehicle. At that time, he was taken into custody on unrelated charges. Based on the information learned during that arrest, along with cellular data uncovered by our digital forensics unit, Detectives identified an area in Houston where Kaylee's phone and the phone that initially called Kaylee's mother were believed to be. Baytown detectives canvassed that area and identified a residence where the registered owner of the phone that called Kaylee's mother resided. That person was identified as 55-year-old Kevin Patterson. <clears throat> Mr. Patterson was wanted on unre unrelated felony charges and was subsequently arrested at the residence in Houston with the assistance of the Gulf Coast Violent Offenders Task Force. During that arrest, information was uncovered that led detectives to execute a search warrant on the residence. And during their search, detectives discovered evidence linking Kaylee to that residence and learned that while at that residence, she had been assaulted by Mr. Flowers and taken from the residence. Based on this information and the evidence that was uncovered during our investigation, on June 20th, 2024, detectives filed the charge of aggravated kidnapping on Mr. Flowers through the Fort Bend County District Attorney's Office. Mr. Flowers is currently in custody in Harris County Jail awaiting extradition uh, to Fort Bend County on those charges. At this point in time, Kaylee is still entered in NCIC as a missing person, and we are asking for the public's help in locating her. With that, I'll take a few questions. So, um, a few things for you. The first one, I wanted to ask her mom this, but since she's just not answering the question, if Kaylee's watching this, if whoever may have her is watching this, what would you guys tell her? What is your message to her now that you guys have the eyes of the community on you? Yes, if Kaylee's watching, which we hope she is, please contact your family. Contact your family, Kaylee, if she's watching. Um, if somebody knows where she is or has seen her, we ask that they contact the Baytown Police Department. Uh, as Chief Stringer mentioned in his uh, statement, uh, you can contact the Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Uh, but again, anybody that has any information about the whereabouts of Kayla, we just ask them to come forward and help us. Mr. Flowers is tied to another case out of Houston. Um, oh, another woman was found. Um, we talked to her family. We're going to talk to her family again because, of course, they're concerned about this suspect mm -hmm. that's now been arrested for multiple situations. Do you guys believe that Mr. Flowers could be tied to other situations across our community? We know of the one in Houston. Obviously, we work very close, very closely with uh, HPD uh, in our investigation, uh, so we are aware of that one. As far as any other cases that he may be, or may or may not be related to, we don't know anything about any of those. We have no information to that. Okay. Um, it's been a little, a little bit over nine weeks since she first disappeared. Mm -hmm. Why a news conference now? Because we need the public's help. We need the public's help. Uh, Kaylee's mother needs the public's help. Kaylee needs the public's help. And that's what this is about. It's about Kaylee, about bringing Kaylee home. Um, it's about helping her mother get through this extremely heart-wrenching and difficult time. In fact, 
from that initial call, um, have there been other calls demanding money or anything like that? No, ma'am. Si habla español, les puedo dar una acción para pedirle al, al público que nos ayuden con encontrar a Kate. Okay. okay, thank you. Hola, estamos viendo la ayuda de nuestra comunidad para localizar a Kaylee Goodwin. Ella ha estado desaparecida desde el 21 de abril. Necesitamos cualquier información que nos puedan proporcionar, ya sea uh, imágenes, videos, cualquier cosa en este momento nos podría ayudar a resolver este caso. Por favor, llámenos a la policía de Baytown o denos la información vía Crime Stoppers. Cualquier información que nos puedan proporcionar nos va a ayudar enormemente a poder resolver este caso. Muchas gracias. All right, once again, to echo what the chief said, uh, thank you all very much for being here today and helping us get this message out uh, to the public. Hopefully, they will, someone will be able to come forward and help us to bring Kaylee home. So thank you all very much. <laughs>